Hey, Team Carlsbad, it's great to be back. Last week, the city declared a state of an emergency for bike, e-bike, and traffic safety. Even with our recent efforts to make our streets safe, we saw a 233% increase in collisions involving bikes and e-bikes. Now, this has only been since 2019. This state of an emergency means that we can now shift even more resources to tackle the issues, and it requires the support of every single person on Team Carlsbad. Now, this may seem on a different level than something like our COVID-19 response, but it still means we're called to support with this as the city's highest priority. So let me emphasize that again. This is the city's highest priority right now. Now, you may be directly involved in supporting making our streets safer. Your day-to-day -day duties shifted to support, or you may pick up other city work so some can focus on these efforts. Even more so though, as city workers, we all play a role in making our streets safer for everyone. Whether your job requires you to be out in the field and on our streets, or you're commuting to and from work or around town, whether you're driving, biking, or walking, we all can demonstrate safe traffic habits. What are some of those? Well, slow down and allow extra time to get where you need to go. Eliminate distractions. No texting while driving or biking. And remember, this has been a state law for a long time. Please follow all rules of the road. Stop at all stop signs, yield to pedestrians. And most of all, please be kind to one another. If someone cuts you off, you don't need to respond. Just everyone needs to do their part to ensure that we have the safest streets possible. Traffic safety affects every single member of our community, and it will take all of us working together to make our streets safer. Now, more details about what actions will be taken will be presented to City Council on Tuesday. Shifting gear to kudos, I want to give a special shout out to our Housing and Homeless Services Program Manager, Jessica Klein, for helping a local family navigate through some pretty big challenges. A community member wrote in to tell a story of her son's 11 surgeries over two years and all the difficulties that came with it. And she tells us that it's really as close to homelessness as her family has ever been. But Jessica stepped in to help her navigate with resources and retain her housing. She called Jessica a breath of fresh air who has given her and her son hope. Thank you, Jessica, for your compassion and dedication to this family and to your efforts for everything that you do here in the city of Carlsbad in support of this critical mission. Well, we are wrapped up with our TGIF Concerts in the Parks series. Thank you for all the staff involved for bringing back these beloved community events. From hiring all the people needed to run these events, to planning, promoting, setting up, and tearing down, thank you for making this such a tremendous success. As you pulled it off nine times at great parks across our amazing city. If you were able to attend any of the concerts, you saw just how much the community enjoys these city planned events. Events like this truly set Team Carlsbad apart. Now we have a busy week ahead, so thanks in advance for all your hard work. All right, well, next Monday is Labor Day and city offices will be closed. So I hope all of you have an opportunity to spend some time with your family and loved ones and uh, recharge because uh, we're coming into the fall season and we got a lot of stuff going on. Be kind and enjoy your time. We'll see you again real soon.